15 kilogram object, the total force is pointing Newton, is at an angle of 10 degrees above the horizontal, and the object is accelerating at 3 meters per second squared. This is called the friction, and it's all for the coefficient of friction. All right, first thing. PD, always. friction going to the left to prevent the, uh, in the opposite direction of the motion of the object. Assume the object is moving in that direction. Now this acceleration doesn't immediately tell you it's going that way, but we can just say it's going that way. It could be slowing down, but going the other way. Let's assume that it's going that way. All right, now, free body diagram is done. What's next? Deal with the angles. So we have this 20 newton force at an angle of 10 degrees. So how do we deal with it? We deal, we break it down into its components. It has an x component and a y component. What's the value of the x component, the green one? It's the adjacent side to the angle. Cosine 10, and the blue side, going sine 10. All right, now that we've dealt with the angle, now what? Throw this away, it doesn't matter anymore, okay? No. No. No tangent. not dealing with an incline. Now, a lot of people will try to break down the mg because this is at an angle, but you only want to break down the force which is actually at the angle. mg and normal force are already in the y direction and friction is already acting in the x. This 20 newton is acting in both the x and the y, so we need to know how much it's acting in the x and how much it's acting in the y prior to the next step of the problem, which is... F at, uh, sum of forces equals ma. Sigma F equals ma. Which direction do you want to solve it? Start in the x because that's the direction of friction. So sum of the forces in the x equals ma. What forces do we have in the x direction? We have the force of the pole, which is this 20 cosine 10. friction, plus or minus, minus F because it's going in the opposite direction, equal to MA. 20 cosine 10 is 19.7, minus the friction equals the mass, 15 kilograms times the acceleration, give it to us in the problem. 7 minus the friction equals 45 newtons. No friction equals. Negative. Oh, calculator, calculator. get a negative force here. Zero. Friction is acting opposite of the direction we call positive. We, in, at a habit, had called the direction of acceleration positive. So we said this way is positive. Friction acts against that. So it's going to be negative. Now the actual value for friction is going to be a positive number. 25.3 newtons. It was only negative because our mathematics told us that it was the opposite way that we thought. So the friction is 25.3 newtons. Check for friction. Now what? How do we find the coefficient?
what's the first step in all our fourth problem? We already have the free body diagram. So what do we do with that free body diagram? Okay, sum of the forces again. So we want to do that in the x direction as well. backwards. We've already done this step. We've already done this f equals ma thing in the x direction. And we, we solved for force. How do we solve for the coefficient? Remember the equation that has coefficient of friction in it? Mu. What, what it was this? It's OK. times a normal. So in order to solve for the coefficient of friction here, we need to know what friction is, and we need to know what the normal force is. Do we know either one of those? Yep. We know the friction we just solved for. It's 25.3 newtons equals mu k. What's the normal force? Now we got to go back and solve for it. It's this number right here. It's that in the y direction. You can call it F then. That's fine. I, yeah, that is a confusing one. You can call it F then. Uh, good. <laughs> good. Call it F then. And we can't assume that normal force equals mg. So we have to go through the process, especially when you're new to it. You must go through this process to get used to it. Some of the forces in the y equals ma. And what forces do we have in the y? These two are the obvious ones. What else do we have? <laughs> we got the angle one. This guy over here, 10 sine, 20 sine of 10. So when we do F equals MA, normal force plus 20 sine 10 minus MG equals zero. The thing's not accelerating up or down. Remember, the two sides are independent of each other. Y is separate from X. Normal force plus 20 sine 10, big shiny, 3.5, minus the mass, Steam. this is 10 for gravity, normal force plus 3.5 newtons minus 150 newtons equals zero. Normal force equals two. 144.4 newtons. Uh, add 150 to that side, subtract 3.6 or 3.5. Forty. Now we know normal force, plug it in over there, 25.3 newtons equals mu k times 146.5 newtons, and so the coefficient of friction is that value, 25.3 divided by 146.5.17 with no units. Beautiful.